API testing, oh how grand, a crucial part of a software testing in demand, with the calls and response to test, ensuring the system passes the rest. All right, I know you are a little confused, right? What's going on? It's actually one of the poem written by the chat GPT for API testing. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how basically learning API testing with chat GPT, right? I know chat GPT is not a new thing, right? It's basically, uh, we know that it's an AI model that can help you solve your query, right? It's a model which basically interact in a conversional way, right? Where you know about it, right? So in this video, I'm going to basically learn the API testing by using the chat GPT. And I will try to ask the important question and we will basically discuss and judge is chat GPT is really, really helpful to learn API testing or not. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I have few questions. First of all, uh, with me, let me pull up those questions that I wanted to ask. Right, see, important point is that, of course, chat GPT can help you to learn important things. But the point here is that you should know the important questions. Yes or no, right? So first of all, we'll basically go with the API testing. This is one of the things that I have created. So first of all, I asked, I want to learn about the API testing. Can you help me? Now, interestingly, it replied in a very, very great way. So the reply was, you have to familiarize with the API and documentation. You have to choose the testing framework or a tool, which is Postman or REST or SOAP UI or a curl, which you want to use, write the test cases, set up the environment, execute the test cases and repeat the process if needed. Interesting, very interesting, because this is exactly the process that we follow in the STLC, isn't it? Right, so chat GPT, first point, I think let's give plus 10 points for that because it has helped me to give the, the correct answer. See, the point here, what you can learn important thing is that my thoughts first of all is that it will be only helpful if you have a right set of questions if you don't have a right set of question chat gpt is like will slap you on a face okay it will not give you the correct answer so you have to know the correct answer so if you want to learn something definitely you have to ask a lot of questions this is a super important thing right so let's move on generated some good documentation this is what my learning is right so my learning was uh, when i was just going through the conversation right i asked multiple questions i'm going to show you the same thing so it has generated some good documentation which i think it is very very helpful to learn automation or api testing right personal touch is missing the important point is that personal touch is missing i mean if i'm learning for a person right and if i'm learning from an ai model it's very different because ai model is like if i'm asking what is this he's replying this no personal touch and things are little missing. I mean, it's like some robot has written this. This is this is how I, which I has realized, right? So no question, no answer. If you have no question, if you have no, don't know about it. Suppose I'm a fresher. I have no idea what is API testing. Ta-da! No, nothing. It will not be helpful. So I think the more you follow up, the more the more you ask the question, the more it will reply. That's the important point. Right. So in the end, we are going to discuss about the will it replace the manual tester or API tester or automation tester. We'll see. First, let me ask the second important question from you. Explain the different type of APIs. Okay, it has basically given a list like which is open, open API, internal API, composite, repos, RPCs, uh, object oriented ones and class based and protocols. One liner it has given you, which are, I think, fair enough if you want to prepare for theory. But what about practical? No practical. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between the API and web services? Okay, again, very interesting example. A API is basically our application programming interface. We basically allow you to have communication between the two ent entities, right? Or API, APIs can work offline, right? Whereas if the web services, they are nothing but APIs which work over the internet. I think good example it has given, which are basically web services are basically who are present on STPP, which is Hypertext Expert Protocol with Secure, REST, and XML and JSON are basically used. So good for your interview. I know i understood next question what is stpp stpp methods header cookies given some amazing example but what about the different stp method so it has given you a list of get post put delete what about options what about patch what about others no limited knowledge chat gpt what you are doing okay anyways uh if i was a pressure right i, I thought only get post put and delete are enough no 
right? Of course, there are multiple HTTP method that you should know. Patch is the one that you missed. Okay. Anyways, what is the difference between URL, URI, URN? Okay. Given some amazing example, which I think could. Which tools I can use? Of course, given a very important list, which is Postman. Super important one that you should learn. If you want to learn API testing with Postman, of course, don't use ChatGPT. Please go to the Testing Academy channel where you will see the Postman 30 day challenge. Okay. That's what. Okay. Anyways, Postman, SOAP UI, Curl, JMeter, into, uh, Fiddler, Rest Assured. Okay. Good. good one. Good one. Good one. Uh, now, real stuff, which is super important, which is how to create a post request with the URL. I have given the payload also. Now, this is where it helps me. It helped. Right. I followed the step by step. It worked very well. So now I thought, okay, since this is teaching and definitely it will replace my testing academy 30 day challenge of postman, right? This chat GPT is going to do. Let me ask you this thing, write a top 50 test cases with the same script. And he was like, sorry, I cannot give you 50 test cases. What? Okay. But about 10. So 10 it has given me, right? So 10 basically what 200. Mostly it play, play around with some boundary value and other thing. But what about the different type of testing that we want to do, right? Functional, load, stress, everything and all, right? These are the top 10 cases. I doubt it. I doubt it. So again, if you want to learn something, you may get some half baked result from chat GPT. This is my learning. Of course, I can be uh, wrong on this, but this is my learning on this. Of course. So I asked multiple other questions also. I want them in a postman scripts, blah, blah, blah. This was a huge list. I can share you with the list again. So my learning was, of course, uh, can you learn API testing with uh, chat GPT? Of course, yes. But you should know the correct questions. Questions are super important thing that you should know. If you know the correct question, then only you will be able to learn it. But uh, if you are a fresher, you have no idea about the questions, mm -mm -mm, then you have to think about it. Okay. Uh, will it replace the manual or automation question? Lots of students are asking. Of course, no. Yeah. Of course, no. I think this will be helpful for you in the future. For example, suppose like uh, like me, I am help. I am basically taking help of Chat GPT for a couple of documentation, couple of uh, frequent answers. Right? Yes. It will become a part of us. It will not replace it. I mean, who will replace it? I remember ten years back when I started as a manual tester. They said manual tester will be replaceable. Still, we hired manual testers. Who knows about the future, right? Of course, there are neural link. There are other AI things which are coming, right? Definitely, who knows about the future? Of course, we don't know, right? So, of course, Chat GPT definitely will help you in your journey towards manual automation, API, anywhere, right? One important thing is lots of cheating is coming. So I was taking one of the interview and that person is taking help from Chat GPT. I saw that, right? So that what that was my experience. Uh, lots of cheating was happening because of the share screen. Okay, don't ask me the recording of that person. Okay, so this was the poem, and the last I would give you the important thing, which is write a poem for API tester. I know it is interesting, right? A poem about API testing. Okay, an API tester also oh clever testing every call and request when from a simple get to complex post. They will, ne ne they will never take a test. They write test cases scripts to validate and verify that API works expected. No bugs, no error found. Okay, good one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This was my video about the learn API testing with the chat GPT. I hope this helps. So write questions, write answers. This is what the chat GPT will be. Replacement, I highly doubt it will become your part of the overall i think as dlc or somewhere part of your life eventually okay so thanks for watching if you are an existing subscriber thanks a lot for watching if you are a new one please consider subscribing i create videos around the software testing test automation and i have 11 years experience as a asset manager so i think i will be helpful for you right uh thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one and comment down your favorite poem in the chat okay bye, -bye.